remember and repeat. Read, remember, and repeat. And if you were able to do that fairly well, you were given the mortarboard of the sheepskin. And they said you had learned. Doesn't necessarily mean you've learned anything at all. You might have learned how to develop your memory, but that might have been the end of it. Now, I'm not saying no one learns doing that. Some do. But he said learning is not gathering information. Learning is when you consciously entertain an idea, you get emotionally involved in the idea, you step out and act on the idea, and you improve the results in some area of your life. Happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday, gang. Welcome back to the liveest reading show on the planet, Read, Remember, Repeat, and it's your host with the most, Michael Mugaboy. So you already know what we did, what we did last, last night. We did um the case stories. We finished out on case story number eight. And um it was basically how a couple made an assumption that they would get the apartment and they got it, right? Um, how many times have you assumed something in your life and then it ended up happening, right? How many times did you blindly want to do something, like play basketball and assume yourself shooting a jump shot? Then eventually you get up the next day, you start playing ball, and you start making jump shots, you know what I mean? Not saying it was spot on, but you had to assume that you would be a good player in order for you to be a good player. So I do believe that this stuff, you know, works, but it's kind of weird, you know what I mean? You got to have extreme focus. Now, we are on chapter 24, which is page 95, and that's failure. So we have to talk about failure right because failing forward is uh how you get ahead right before when you was young you started walking and then you before you walk you fell right so you gotta fail so without further ado family let's go failure this book would not be complete without some discussion of failure and the attempted use of the law of assumption it is entirely possible that you either have had or will have a number of failures in this respect many of them in really important matters. If having read this book, having thorough knowledge of the application and working of the law of assumption, you faithfully apply it in an effort to attain some intense desire and fail, what is the reason? If to the question, did you persist enough? You can answer yes, and still the attainment of your desire was not realized. What is the reason for failure? The answer to this is the most important factor in the successful use of the law of assumption. The time it takes your assumption to become fact, your desire to be fulfilled is directly proportionate to the naturalness of your feeling of already being what you want to be, of already having what you desire. The fact that it does not feel natural to you to be what you imagine yourself to be is the secret of your failure. Regardless of your desire, regardless of how faithfully and intelligently you follow the law, if you do not feel natural about what you want to be, you will not be it. If it does not feel natural to you to get better, to get a better job, you will not get a better job. The whole principle is vividly expressed by the Bible phrase, you die in your sins. You do not transcend from your present level to the state desired. How can this feeling of naturalness be achieved? The secret lies in one word, imagination. For example, this is a very simple illustration. Assume that you are securely chained to a large, heavy iron bench. You could not possibly run. In fact, you could not even walk. In these circumstances, it would not be natural for you to run. You could not even feel that it was natural for you to run. But you could easily imagine yourself running in that instant while your consciousness is filled with your imagined running. You have forgotten that you are bound. In imagination, your running was completely natural. The essential feeling of naturalness can be achieved by persistently filling your consciousness with imagination. Imagining yourself being what you want to be or having what you desire. Progress can spring only from your imagination, from your desire to transcend your present level. What you truly and literally must feel is that with your imagination, all things are possible. You must realize that changes are not caused by caprice, but by change of consciousness. You may fail to achieve or sustain the particular state of consciousness necessary to produce the effect you desire. But once you know 
that consciousness is the only reality and is the sole creator of your particular world and have burnt this truth into your whole being, then you know that success or failure is entirely in your own hands. Whether or not you are disciplined enough to sustain the required state of consciousness in specific instances has no bearing on the truth of the law itself. That's an assumption. If persisted in will harden into fact, the certainty of the truth of this law must remain despite great disappointment and tragedy. Even when you see the light of life go out and all the world go on as though it were still day, you must not believe that because your assumption failed to materialize, the truth that assumptions do materialize is a lie. If your assumptions are not fulfilled, it is because of some error or weakness in your consciousness. However, these errors and weaknesses can be overcome. Therefore, press on to the attainment of ever higher levels by feelings that you already are the person you want to be. And remember that the time it takes your assumption to become reality is proportionate to the naturalness of being it. We're human beings, family. Many surrounds himself. Man surrounds himself with the true image of himself. Every spirit builds itself a house and beyond its house, a world. And beyond its world, a heaven. Know then that the world exists for you. For you, the phenomenon is perfect. What we are, that only can we see. All that Adam had, all that Caesar could, you have and can do. Adam called his house heaven and earth. Caesar called his house Rome. You perhaps call yours a cobbler's trade. A hundred acres of land or a scholar's garret. Yet line for line and point for point, your dominion is as great as theirs. Though without fine name, build therefore your own world. As fast as you conform your life to the pure idea in your mind, that will unfold its great proportion. That was written by Emerson. Now, it says, I just wanna I just wanna go into this before we jump into the source part of the, the show. It says you must realize that changes are not caused by caprice. You must, but a change of consciousness, right? You may fail to achieve or sustain the particular state of consciousness necessary to produce the effect you desire. So if you are going to think anyway, right, you might as well think big. If you, why use your imagination for bad things to happen, right? I just wanted to say that. Family, let's get to the source. We'll be right back. A paradigm is nothing but a multitude of habits. And a habit is nothing but an idea that's fixed in our subconscious mind. When you place an idea in your subconscious mind through repetition, it'll take root, it becomes fixed. A fixed idea is a habit. A habit is something we automatically do without any conscious thought. A paradigm is nothing but a multitude of habits. And a habit is nothing but an idea that's fixed in our subconscious mind. When you place an idea in your subconscious mind through repetition, it'll take root, it becomes fixed. A fixed idea is a habit. A habit is something we automatically do without any conscious thought. And back gang, back gang, we are back gang. Right. This next chapter that we are on is chapter 25 and chapter 25. I like the title of it already. It's called faith. Right. We all need faith at times. Right. Because faith is the things, the evidence of things not seen. So we're going to jump right into this with open arms, open ears. Let's go. Faith. A miracle is the name given by those who have no faith to the works of faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11.1. 1. I'm going to read that one more time. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. The very reason for the law of assumption is contained in this quotation. If there were not a deep-seated awareness that, that, that which you hoped for had substance and was possibly of attainment, it would be impossible to assume the consciousness of being or having it. It is the fact that creation is finished and everything exists that stirs you to hope. And hope in turn implies expectation. And without expectation of success, it would be impossible to use consciously the law of assumption 
evidence is a sign of actuality. Thus, this quotation means that faith is the awareness of the reality of that which you assume. A conviction of, rea of the reality of things which you do not see. The mental perception of the reality of the invisible. Consequently, it is a obvious that a lack of faith means disbelief in the ex existence of that which you desire. Inasmuch as that which you experience is the faithful reproduction of your state of consciousness. Lack of faith will mean perpetual failure in any conscious use of the law of assumption. In all the ages of history, faith has played a major role. It permeates all the great religions of the world. It is woven all through mythology. And yet today it is almost universally misunderstood. Contrary to popular opinion, the efficacy of faith is not due to the work of any outside agency. It is from first to last an activity of your own consciousness. The Bible is full of many statements about faith, of the true meaning of which few are aware. Here are some type, typical examples. Unto us was the gospel preached, as well as on, unto them. But the world preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Hebrews 4.2 in this quotation, the us and them make clear that all of us hear the gospel. Gospel means good news. Very obviously, good news for you would be that you had attained your desire. This is always being preached to you by your infinite self. To hear that which you desire does not, does exist. To hear that which you desire does exist and you need only to accept it in consciousness is good news. Not mixing with faith means to deny the reality of that which you desire. Hence, there is no profit attainment possible. O oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? Matthew 17, 17. The meaning of faithless has been made clear. Perverse means turn the wrong way. In other words, the consciousness of not being what you want to be. To be faithless, that is, to disbelieve in the reality of that which you assume, is to be perverse. How long shall I be with you means that the fulfillment of your desire is predicated upon your change to the right state of consciousness. It is just as though that which you desire is telling you that it will not be yours until you turn from being faithless and perverse to righteousness. As already stated, Righteousness is the consciousness of already being what you want to be. By faith, he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. Hebrews 11, 27. Egypt means darkness. Belief in many gods causes the king symbolizes the power of outside conditions or circumstances. He is your concept of yourself as already being what you want to be. Enduring as seeing him who is invisible means persisting in the assumption that your desire is already fulfilled. Thus, this quotation means that by persisting in the assumption that you already are the person you want to be, you rise above all doubt, fear, and belief in the power of outside conditions or circumstances, and your world inevitably conforms to your assumption. The Dictionary Definitions of Faith The ascent of the mind or understanding to the truth, unwavering adherence to principle, are so pertinent that they might well have been written with the law of assumption in mind. Faith does not question. Faith knows. Wow, family. We made it all the way to chapter 26. Um, faith. Faith is a big one. Let me know how you guys feel about faith. Write in the comments. Uh, hit us up. Let us know what's going on. Read, remember, repeat. The live is being shown on the planet. Let's go.